continuous Monday morning music. At 4.30, it's time for headlines on the half hour. The National Security Council and the Defense Department met yesterday to discuss U.S. options in dealing with the newest international crisis, but officials at the Pentagon were not available for comment. This is Abel. We're ready to receive. Cindy, I'm going to give you number one. Russ, the target we talked about the other day, that's yours, number two. Bonnie, I'm going to give you number three, okay? Sir, there's a new revetment on image 10. 10? Yes, sir, lower left-hand corner. Okay. We call it up? John, take a look at this. Cindy says we got a new revetment in number 10. It's like a pen. Looks like we might have some. Yeah. Go ahead and get some measurements up. Okay. And up here. A little bit more. There you go. That's good. That okay. looks pretty that good. Looks yeah. good. <laughs> Let's get it in the report. Okay. Transmit it. And major questions were raised as events escalated again today in what is becoming one of the world's principal hotspots. While tensions increased here at the Pentagon, sources expressed concern that continued development could expand that local situation to include the major world powers, and speculation that increased activity could even threaten the scheduled arms limitation talks. As, as events thousands of miles away became increasingly ominous, behind these walls, the president's top... Okay, what do you got? Yesterday's SR-71 flight picked up something new. Oh? Mm -hmm. This shows up here, as you can see, on the latest imagery. And here's the same area from an earlier flight. It's quite obvious, the differences. 
Yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. Now, this is a threat that we can't ignore. We'll have to take a firm stance, but we've got to avoid military action. Now, this type of imagery will be crucial. When's your next Blackbird flight? It should be ready to go about now. to News Radio 98, and in the headlines at this hour, a continuing drama unfolding in one corner of the world has government officials here facing tough decisions. News from the troubled area continues to be sketchy, but reports of a new series of incidents have touched off a debate over what stance this country should take. Amid pressure for U.S. intervention from neighboring nations, there have been... the U.S. to step in. Amid this increasing pressure, the debate on Capitol Hill focuses on the summit talks and what impact U.S. action would have have the U.S. military command that would allow American forces to extend deployment to counter any potential threat. Pentagon officials say such a proposal would significantly increase the level of U.S. military involvement. Declined to say whether the president has actually ordered military preparations, but one senior official said military commanders in the area have been put on alert. acceptable provocation, either legally or politically, for a military response. Yes, there's been terrorist activity, bombings, the hostages, but these are only symptoms. Yes, we're getting pressure from the locals to intervene, and we've certainly got major interests at stake there. But we don't really know what's going on. Are there external forces at work? Is it about... As I suspected, the president has ruled out military action. He wants a diplomatic solution, and we have 72 hours to provide the ammunition. Now, where do we stand? Well, that special flight we discussed is on for tonight. Good. The new sensor suite should give us the final imagery we need to complete the picture. Okay. We're running out of time. Yes, sir.
o'clock and time for the nightly news. On the international crisis front, the situation became increasingly unstable today as three countries broke off diplomatic relations. With the controversy continuing unchecked, fears are that one or both of the superpowers will be drawn in, making it impossible to sit down at the conference table and negotiate. In the latest development, the President will address the morning session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York tomorrow to recommend severe sanctions. got the flight data. I think you better look at this right away. Conference room, two minutes. I'm on my way. But first, you should know we've got a situation change that's going to mean going back in with another flight. We're going to have to talk about that. What's this about another flight? We're already cutting it fine. That deadline still holds. No, it'll be a complicated mission, and we'll only have one shot, but it's essential. I think you'll agree when you see these. Here, take a look at the increased activity. We've got to validate that. And we'll need detailed study of these new targets they've pinpointed. Hmm. Yeah, with what I'm seeing here, there's absolutely no time to waste. How soon can you have another Blackbird in the air? We're shooting for 1,300. The planners are going to have a long night ahead of them. What do you got, Frank? Looks like we have tasking for a radar mission that has to be airborne tomorrow by 12, 1300 local. So we're going to have to work probably through the night to get this all done, get all the materials put together. Yeah. All right, here's the first one. Okay, second one is uh, 5410. 5410. Looks like they're pretty much falling in that nice tight grouping over here. We won't have too much problem to give to the sensor planners to get the radar on these. Go ahead with the next uh, set of coordinates. Okay, 57, 5700. Gents, looks like this thing's a goer. Here's the tasking as advertised. Well, it sure is. If you do the briefing, I'll get the notification check with running. Okay, thanks.
Excuse me there, Sergeant Holden. I need to speak to you in private places, sir. I've just received word of a very important higher headquarters directed tasking. I know you've been working hard to put in some long hours, but I need to ask you to put in a lot more hard work. We need to get this aircraft ready to go as soon as possible. Yes, sir. You see any reason why this aircraft cannot meet that tasking? Yes, sir. It's in pretty good shape. Okay, if you run any problems, make sure you keep me informed and uh, do not discuss this mission with anybody other than those people that have a need to know. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Smith, crews, staff, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Crook with a pre-takeoff briefing for North 169. This mission is classified secret and the room is secured. The crew is present. The mission is North 169, a radar mission. The mission was executed at 0400 this morning. Takeoff times 1300 local for six hours, 15 minutes. Your recall word is dagger. The remaining communication is dead. It is as shown in your comm flimsy. Your route for North 169, you'll be taking off. The end refueling, start your climb, accelerate for entry into the sensitive area. Your abort point is 125 miles back set from DP-22. Your inner sensitive area is 120 miles back set from DP-22. Steep turns are programmed for DPs 22, 23, 24, and 25. You'll be exiting the sensitive area 110 miles back set from DP-27. 27 is the ARCP for your Arctic 2 refueling with rows 5-4 and 5-5. Five, five. It's time for a new central update. Within the past hour, increased military activity has been reported in the crisis area. White House and Pentagon aides were unavailable for comment on these unconfirmed reports, but one analyst viewed the development as a serious threat that would elevate military policy in that quarter to a whole new level. Meanwhile, at the United Nations, members from 46 nations called for collective measures to resolve the controversy. The Secretary General, however, declined to say publicly whether the UN Security Council had accepted or rejected the resolution, which recommended severe sanctions. We'll be uh, pushing up the tanker at uh, DP-21. We'll go ahead and complete the uh, AR checks, and we'll start our uh, acceleration immediately after that to uh, Mach 3. Uh, we'll be crossing into the sensitive area right about this point, and uh, we'll complete all our checklists uh, prior to that. Uh, flight plan route sensors will be starting to activate uh, approximately here. <clears throat> That's about 100 miles back from this city right here. Sorry. Okay. We went to this uh, left turn. Uh, sensors will be operating at that point, so uh, just be advised about that. And uh, how's the uh, fuel checking out? Looks like if we're 2,000 pounds below the fuel curve here, we're going to have to abort. Okay. In the event we need to do that, let's plan on an immediate left-hand turn and come out uh, straight for the coastline. Okay. And uh, if it's a fuel abort, we'll proceed directly back to our second day, our uh, DP-27. Otherwise, good. we'll just press on uh, as the flight line reindicates. Okay, that's about 200 miles back from 26. Right, yeah. that's good. Uh, we'll come into the uh, second AR. I'll be working uh, uh, the rendezvous with him, and we'll plan on hooking up here and then uh, going back up to full tanks for our return back home. It's a hot AR. Right. The two tankers, no yeah. more. Yeah, two scheduled in there, so we'll uh, split the offload.
right, you can go ahead and close up. All right, so I'm going to check your face feed here. All right, face feed's good. I'm going to bring you up on uh, system two. All right, sir, so you can go go ahead and open up. Okay, sir, we're ready to go. Okay, sir, we're ready to go. Thank you. 
alert. The checks. Staff set. It's good. Water caution lights checked. Mine are good. And mine are good. Circuit breakers checked. Good in the front. And good in the rear. Network news continues. A White House spokesman has just announced the latest development in that explosive crisis situation. Citing fears that American interests would be threatened, the State Department today issued an advisory to all U.S. citizens living or doing business in the area, urging them to depart. Meanwhile, Pentagon planners are reported to be meeting at this time to formulate response options calibrated to minimize the risk to the American presence in the area. What's our status? They're approaching the area now, but it's touch and go. What do you mean? Trouble? They're running into unpredicted temperature inversions, about 80,000 feet. If the maneuvering gets bad enough, it could cause a fuel abort. We can't afford to lose this chance. We've got a flight crew that can handle it, but they'll be doing more than just enjoying the view. Thank you. 
time. Level off checks. Inlet set. Atlas check. Fuel check. Yeah, looks like we're about 3,000 low on the fuel. Roger that. Okay, this will be a problem. Plan no lower than 2,000 pounds. Let me take a look at the flight plan. I'll be right back with you. This will be irrefutable in correlation with the previous imagery. And this next view, we've got the same thing. And here again. And look at this. This is exactly what we need. We couldn't have better ammunition. With this evidence, they'll have to back off. Well, I think our crisis should be history by the weekend papers. And the world will never know what really happened. announcement from the White House confirmed that plans for arms limitation talks are back on track, saying that both U.S. and Soviet leaders foresee no obstacles to convening that session. Meanwhile, at the United Nations, a resolution to censure was withdrawn in the wake of the sudden cooling off of tensions in that global trouble spot. For the first time in two weeks, there was an atmosphere of agreement and conciliation rather than threats and aggression. The sudden change in attitude puzzled many veteran observers who just days ago felt chances for a peaceful solution were remote. Next up, we'll report on a...